Afternoon cactus people. It's a lovely February afternoon. It's 17 degrees in the cactus house today, which is lovely. You know, I've just taken my jumper off. So if you don't mind joining me today, we're going to have a look at, little look at some Aureusarius. Okay, the first one I want to have a look at is this one here. This is um, Aureusarius trollii, uh, which I got from Tony Irons probably about three or four years ago. Unfortunately, I left this in the greenhouse in full sun and didn't realise quite how hot it had got. And you can see this section got uh, quite damaged by the sun. It uh, basically cooked it on that side, uh, which was a shame because it was quite a nice specimen up until then. But he's survived it. A little bit of damage on the other side, as you can see, but not too much. But since then, we've had all this new growth on it, and he looks quite healthy. You can see the, the top is growing fine there. So that's given it a bit of character and he's quite happy. I say he's double the size from the, when I got him, so he can't be that bad. And put that to one side. And the other one, this is an Aureusarius um, Celsianus. I got four of these all together again about three years ago. And that one's fine. Uh, this one, you may remember a video I made quite a while back where um, this had some rot in the middle. And so rather than let it spread, I cut the whole middle section out and treated it with some sulphur and then just let the top section rest and the bottom section just dried out and healed up and carried on. There's a little bit of the dark black damage there you can see which has gone hard now it's not getting any worse but that was quite that was all over the, the stem of the cactus as you can see and I say he was he had his head chopped off literally and since then he's grown two new heads uh, not many of us can do that uh, which makes it quite an interesting shape and the head that I cut off, the top section, I let it rest, it probably sat resting for about a year and then I saw a, a small root about that sort of size came out and then potted it up into some gritty compost and that's just, it's rooted now, you can feel it's it's got some good resistance there. A little bit of uh, old black stuff on the top but not too bad and he's actually grown a new little shoot out of the top as well so uh, I suppose I could cut that bit off and root that separately or let it grow on like this one uh, eventually we'd have a, a matching pair then <laughs> so, yeah just to show that uh, if you do get something wrong with a cactus it's not always terminal sometimes you can treat it sometimes it doesn't work sometimes you can cut the the rotten bit out and you think it's fine and then a few weeks later the whole thing will collapse but uh, one thing's for certain if you let let it go then it's going to go through the whole cactus and you'll lose the whole plant so this way we've got two plants for the price of one and possibly I could cut those off and root these heads as well and then have separate plants but uh, I probably won't just leave them there because they're quite quite characterful like that. But, uh, there we go, a few different uh, Aureus areas. Thank you for joining us today on this lovely afternoon. I'll see you in the next video.